All right, the video that's coming to come up is going to show um, everything that I say here and, and explain it, and I have support, it supports everything I'm saying. Now, 3D CAD scans were done by Jesse Grant and Associates. Wonderful people helped us out a tremendous amount. Comets and meteorites were alive. I'm going to see if I can show that and prove it. Planets are or all were alive, and I believe that also is the case. Ancient texts appear to be true. They support everything that was said, and Velenkowski searched those things very, very deeply, and I believe he was right. In the event that this is correct, and these things are from living creatures, all of this becomes questionable. Geology, physics, planetary formation, history, religion, the Big Bang, evolution, tectonics, and everything else. It all needs a new look. Solvomorphism is the creation of all of these types of rocks, which you'll see in a minute. In my Facebook page uh, group is question everything, and everything needs to be questioned because everything that I'm finding has a lot to be questioned. So that's what I'm saying, and I believe I can prove these things, and I'd like to have them looked at and examined by academia and the intellectuals that believe that this is silly. Because I don't think it's silly, and I think I have the proof. I have three, cats, uh, three DNA tests, I have seven CAT scans, I have uh, anatomists, expert anatomists that agree, I have the process recreated in the laboratory of how the wet fossilization process works. Uh, I have the specimens, I have documentations, I have videos, and I'd like to have it examined. Everything you're looking at in front of you was alive at one time and consuming oxygen. There's blood supply to every single thing that you see, every rock there. There's not one of them that isn't. That big yellow one at the end is a gigantic tendon in place in it. The black one right next to it is a huge bursa. The one next to that one to the right is another bursa that formed in another manner. There's been seven CAT scans. There's been three DNA tests. There's lungs here. There's fingertips. There's uh, ev everything. There's every structure. There's tendons and bones. And, and it's all been totally 100% verified. It needs to be looked at, and, and um, you know, if somebody can come up with uh, a reason that it's not true, I, I'd like to talk about it. All right, once again, here's another rock with the vein, and the vein clamps off so that the material inside the vein cannot evacuate, and there's the artery, and the arterial side has no clamp, so they blow out. I've seen it over and over and over and over and over, hundreds of times, literally, and this is what ends up creating the plagioclase, which is the tendinous implantment, and, and there, there's, there's many places that it does this. And this, this stuff here is, it's a, and that's right there, that's, that's what slips in between the tendon. This would have come out just a little further and covered that, and the tendon ball is right there. And I snapped it open to see, and, and, and it's right down inside here. And I see these tendon balls all over, and they end up having that plagioclase material, wherever that is. Yeah? That's just the way it works. And that plagioclase material, guess what? Plagioclase is on the highlands of the moon. It's on this comet. It's everywhere there is. I'm 100% sure you're going to find it everywhere. Because tendons are the most tenuous thing on the face of the earth. They just virtually don't ever just go away. All right, this is from Wikipedia. This is the plagioclase material. Extremely clear. There's no question about what it is, and it's in the specimens that I just showed you. All right, this is another rock that's been cut straight across. You see it straight across there? Now, the, the, um, the artery and the vein, same thing again. One of them purges, and then it ends up filling up with crystals. And then the uh, vein side clamps off, so it keeps the bodily fluids, and they stay in there. Now this is what a rock looks like. That that's just a rock. And where did it go here? Hold on. Let me get a little light on there. It's just a rock. Everybody would look at that as oh, it's just a rock. Well, it's not just a rock. If you cut it open, you will see exactly what it is. It's a it's a <laughs> it's from a creature, and that was had blood going into it. I don't know what it was or what it did, but it was alive. Okay, here's a meteorite that came through outer space and came into our solar system and through our atmosphere and literally smelted. The blood that was in here would con con contain 
copious amounts of iron. You have your vein and your artery. You can see them right here. The black leaching out is the is the ferrous oxides. They, it's there's no question. I'm gonna show this over and over and over and over again. I have them in dozens and dozens and dozens of examples, and you're gonna see them very shortly. And that came from outer space, came through, and crashed into the earth, and that is how that was formed. And the the comet 67P is also a product of life. And all the planets, I believe, are products of life. Mars is no question, it's a product of life. And we have all this. Okay, that is an iron meteorite, and I believe it is similar to this, which is a lung. And this lung, if it came through outer space and into the atmosphere, and it was loaded with blood, it would turn into smelt right into iron like that. This is a lung that's been DNA tested 100% human and inside of it it is loaded with blood and loaded with ferrous oxides and if this came through out from outer space this would turn into that. This is a uh, petrified human lung completely totally verified DNA tested 100% human. It's been CAT scan we never had it DNA test is not really anything there, but it's fully understandable what the structure and some of these things have been hit with acids and they're fully fully um, burnt out and some of them were actually this thing bled, literal blood came out of this, actual blood and I have the pictures of it, blobs of blood there's other uh, lungs that petrified in other ways, now the key here is that they're transitional. Some of them, they start off really gooey and then they end up transitioning to solid mineral. All right, this is on Comet 67P, and I have a, 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 this is actually from the video. It's called Comet 67P, Mysterious Features Discussed Life? Question mark. Okay, now, here's your vein and your artery. They can't understand them inside the rim, inside the walls of these things. They they the things they the little balls of stuff. They call them dragon balls. Not dragon balls. They're petrified cellular material. It's the balls of the of the fluids that have been bubbled out from the vascularness of an arterial entryway. Okay, just quickly to show you this. This is that comet. You see that boom, 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 all the way around? That's, a, that's not just accidentally occurred here. Those are the teeth of the tendon balls. And I show this very clearly. I'm not going to go deep into this one. Just go, you can go watch this. It's only, oh, I don't know, it's 17 minutes long. It's extremely detailed and it shows the same features. It, 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 there's no question of what this is. I just need somebody to really look at this and pay attention to it. And they're up there doing the chemistry on this. is no question what it is. And I know already what the chemistry is going to be. So I want to talk to somebody and uh, have them look at what I believe this is. And, and uh, if they have some other explanation, God bless them. Because I'd like to hear it. You see that? That's the teeth I'm talking about. You see it all the way around the tendon. And all, that's the strap on the other side of the tendon. You see all this stuff here? That is the plagioclase material. It's exactly the same. You see right there? That's the exact same stuff. Those are the teeth. Those are the teeth. That's what we're talking about. All right, and I show this. This is a tendon ball, identical structure that's on Comet 67P, or that is Comet 67P. If you look at all of the different structures that are on this, the two different types of tendon heads that are sticking up, there would be muscle straps attached to there and they break off where it transitions. I have a full video of it showing the transition points. I have all the chemistry, I have the anatomists, I have the DNA tests and the CAT scans and it's, it's proven what it is.